hello guys how's everybody doing i hope all is well with you and your families and if you are new to my channel welcome my name is nancy and let's get right into it guys so today i am talking about the mother's pain and the pain i'm talking about it's your own pain your own trauma pain that gets to be transferred to your children without even knowing it it's like an unconsciously transferring pain situations that's going on without you even realizing it you will realize it later on when your kids are grown that's the pain i'm talking about today so guys uh, one of the lessons i've learned as a mother is uh, all your unresolved issues your unresolved pain your rejections your abandonment issues your uh, unre uh, like rejected feelings whatever it is that will be going on within yourself i've learned that all that if you, if all that if it's not taken care of it will be transferred to your children unconsciously and you will realize it later that all that will mirror back to you later on when they are grown i've learned that and i'm still learning that this is the main reason i have this channel really uh, to help a parent out there uh, who is still struggling with their pains of their past to get it resolved to intentionally seek your healing as soon as possible get the help you need because you might be doing the right things by the book raising your kids doing things the proper way but really underneath it all uh it might be based on fear internal fear uh and things like that and then you find out that later on your children will mirror all those underlining issues that you had personally they'll mirror it back to you and you wonder how can that be when i raise them the right way so that's the main reason i have this channel to just if i can help just one parent out there uh to not go the wrong path i did make the wrong mistakes i made uh, uh, the, so that one parent out there can quickly get the the help they need to resolve all those uh, uh pain uh, rejected feelings whatever it may be if you get the help you need then it won't be too late to raise your kids the right way so that you can get the, the results you want from your kids so that they can mirror back what you really want them to become rather than mirroring back your pain so yeah i hope one parent get uh, learn something from this story and do what you need to do and you know if that happens we just give god all the glory because he is able to do it for you even though i was doing things by the book the right way with the right intention trying to teach my kids uh everything about life wanting them to succeed teaching them how to clean how to cook how to get a's in school how to succeed in school how to play sports doing all these things by the book the right way guess what my pain was doing the opposite my pain was uh, showing them frustrations, uh, fear, insecurities, instability, uh, showing them uh, perfectionism, showing them um, uh, um, what else? Showing them anger, showing them all this kind of stuff. Especially the one that got really affected was my first child, my daughter, because I was really a mess. Uh, so she really got all the baggage because I, I wasn't healed. I, I didn't know how. So even though I wanted, I was trying, everything that I was doing was for the right intention. I thought my pain actually was doing the opposite, uh, giving the wrong vibe the wrong energy you might say it was it was just the negative spirit that was coming out of me so that contradiction me doing physically the right things but yet uh 
emotionally my emotions whatever was going within me they were doing the opposite and then coming out in the wrong way when i am triggered that created uh created deeper wounds in my family so why my family it's because your family it's it's like your family are the ones that really get to know the real you because the it was easy for me to to create this fake person out there because they don't know me they don't know the real me so they wouldn't they didn't have the triggers to trigger me but my family uh, because they were the closest to me they were my easy target because they knew what to trigger they they said the wrong stuff all the time they you know things like that so they will know the real you and you become so uh you become the 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 real you and then you show them the real you and then they end up uh getting wounded the most i don't know if it makes sense it's like all these things that you are doing now the the fear the negative emotion part you are doing it unconsciously you don't even know what's going on because you are just looking at the the the, the stuff that you are doing or oh, yeah i'm a good mom i just want the best for my kids not knowing that the other side that up the pain the pain is showing your family uh it's damaging your family it's wounding your family that's the best way I can explain it uh, because that's the energy they are getting the most you get and uh, uh, let me give an example here uh, let's say my children now I told them to clean after themselves uh, they do their best they clean after themselves but to me I don't see it as clean because I'm failing to see the real deal of what's going on. Really, if a, 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 a somebody who's normal, I call it, not saying, you know, uh, comes in the like, oh, this house is clean. But in me, because I didn't know what I was cleaning, why I kept on cleaning something that is already clean. I'm not satisfied within myself. So then I pick up something that even them they cannot see and say oh it's not clean you do it again you clean it again because i'm failing to to go down deep within myself and clean whatever i'm trying to clean inside myself so i take it up on them you clean it again because it's not clean enough or let me say uh we have an argument with my my uh, husband and i feel threatened i feel like i'm threatened and instead of looking at the situation that in, as it is, no, I go back in my past in that, in, in that particular moment and I try to create this scenery because I'm not arguing now with him. I'm arguing, I'm now arguing with my past. I become this thing because I'm not seeing him. I'm seeing my past. I brought my past in the argument now. My, the words that I'm that are coming out of my mouth is not towards him it's towards my past let's say i would like say eh, i'm i'm a lion i'm a lion that's my uh my uh, family's uh totem you know so i'll say oh i'm a lion if you come here and want to try and 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 attack me uh i'm gonna eat you up you know i'll eat you because i'm a lion i don't even i'll make sure nobody finds you i'll eat you this because i'm not talking to him i'm talking to my past you get so that's what ends up showing up you wanted the situation to be uh resolved in a nice manner but then no your past went in because it wasn't resolved it came into that argument and then that that past now ends up because now you're not arguing with your with your husband you're arguing with your past that's what you want to do to your past you want to kill it you want to eat it you want to crush it that's how what you really want to do but it ends up going to the wrong person and wounding your loved one 
so now that your pain has showed up as insecurities as uh pride issues uh perfectionism things like that now if you still don't seek help to heal if you still don't uh, find the answers you are looking for the healing that you are looking for then it's the, the that pain just keeps on growing and then what ends up happening is that pain will start affecting your kids your kids will become also runners uh like for my child you know they'll start telling you showing abandonment issues and then you would understand like for me i knew that i was there as a wife as a mom just as a body but really the emotional part of me that needed to connect with my children was ne was not there especially with my daughter was not there it was still stuck with that little girl in that place that I buried her. So I couldn't connect the way I, sh the way I was supposed to connect with her because I was just stuck in my pain. So you, you see that your, your, all that pain now will affect your child, um, confidence. They will have, uh, uh, low self-esteem issue like approval from the outside uh they you become their trigger they see you you are their trigger it's like everything that also you are running from it becomes that in your child in you that they are running from you so you become their trigger uh, they seek approval from uh, from out. There's a disconnection and they show this um, depression tendencies because now you have also created another pain. You yourself are running from pain, but in the same token, you are creating pain. So it becomes a bunch of pain spirits around you because you are running from pain from your own pain to resolve your own issues your own pain yet you are creating pain in others it's just that sad that's why it will be it's very important to intentionally seek the healing that you need because it will really uh It will really help you to avoid uh, some of uh, unnecessary uh, pain, unnecessary headaches and heartaches, I always say. You will avoid it if you just seek the help you need, the healing that you need. Just face whatever is chasing you. Face it. Uh, so right now in a situation uh, where you are dealing with with your child uh having to make a decision to be a stripper you don't want that because you contributed to that whether you want to see it like that or not seeing it like that really for me i see it like that because i had a role i played uh, why would a child in their right mind uh, want to be a stripper unless something is really wrong underneath? So you don't want to be in a situation like that, really. You don't want to be in a situation like that. So just seek the, uh, the healing that you need. How are we healing or how can you heal from this? Uh, as for me as a mom, uh when i started seeing that that mirror 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 on the wall tell me who's the greatest of all the mothers out there and when that mirror started telling me uh not you you are not even close this is your result of your mothering when that mirror started showing me what i had done how i had raised my children uh so this is the thing guys even if you are healed or you are in your healing journey 
uh what happens is your if your children of or your child is not in that healing journey with you you're not on the same page it doesn't matter even if you're in that healing journey uh they keep displaying that pain that you deposited in them they keep displaying that it's it's they have to themselves and i i I don't want to say it, if if you got your healing too late, uh, then this will happen. It's like if if your children are already grown and now you're seeking this healing, let's say they are now in middle school, now you're seeking this healing. The important part of their lives, you already deposited what what needed to be deposited at that time. So that's just going to come out of them whether you like it, whether you healed or not healed, it's just going to come out. It's only until they themselves seek healing for themselves that uh, and let go of the mistakes that have been made that you can both just walk in that total healing. So yeah, that's my that situation that happened. But before I was healed, when I started seeing uh the 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 real deal the mirror what was reflected back to me uh that's when i really sought for god really i i went to god <laughs> yes i just went to god because i did not know anything i did not know any therapies uh therapists i mean i did not know anything like that the only thing i knew at that point was god so i went to him and asked for his help in those effects on my children I, j I was so desperate I became so desperate for this healing I wanted to know how 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 do I forgive this monster because that's what I saw him at that time how do I forgive this monster how do I move on how do I let go God how do, how 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 I wanted to know the how because I didn't know how so when God started teaching me the how. It, it was little baby steps. It wasn't even overnight. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> it was not even overnight. Like I always tell you some things, even till today, I'm practicing over and over again every day because this thing is a journey. Healing is a journey. So I, 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 I just wanted to know how. And when God showed me the how, I just kept on doing it and doing it. And I needed to know how do I forgive myself because how do I love myself and how do I uh, make this right with my kids I asked my after the healing process or the healing the first healing phase or second healing phase I don't know how many healing phases I phases I have had I when when I would have this confrontation over and over with my children I, I would just constantly ask for forgiveness and you know ask them for for their gift for uh for their forgiveness with no making excuses or trying to look good or anything i just i just ask for forgiveness and as for my daughter when i see her in those anger issues or if i see any any of that of my pain be being displayed in her since she was the sponge of my pain uh, mostly, I I just keep on telling her and encouraging her to just uh, forgive, let go, and I constant constantly push her to go into therapy. Uh, it's not been easy, but you know what? I'm not pushing like pushing hard or trying to 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 force it on her i'm i just encourage her you need to find therapy so you can talk to somebody and you know resolve whatever your mommy did that's really hurtful so if i see that she keeps on going in that cycle i just also keep on giving her advice to 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 go to god have a relationship with god uh seek help yeah find since you don't want therapies the uh, therapy sessions with me you can find a therapy session with by yourself a therapist by yourself but you know i just 
keep on praying about it on her own time i have hope she will get the help that she needs uh, she will let go she will eventually truly truly forgive and move on but I'm, i will not lose hope i'm just hopeful that it will happen someday now as a mom also i am not going to throw in uh, my mommy duties because uh, i have failed i have forgiven and i've moved on i will still be the mom to my kids uh, and you that uh, a better mom I can only be a better mom, learn from my, my mistakes and be better. So I'm not going to fold my hands and say, well, just because I did what I did, now I cannot uh, uh, say some, if something is wrong, I cannot stand and say something because I don't want to create another pain. I have to now, it's, it's the way I say it and it's the way I, I, the way I talk to them about the situation that's at hand, that matters. But that being said, it doesn't mean that just because I'm, I am a trigger, uh, I shouldn't be a mother. Now I'm a better mom. So they have to see that, that I'm a better mom right now. I don't have to push anything on them, but also I don't have to back up to say what is right or give them advice uh, on an issue just because I don't want to trigger them. I have to still be a mother. Uh, it's just how I do it now that is different. But uh, I, I also still push for them to do better. Like, for example, with my child, uh, I, I'm, we are on a stage where I'm saying, you know what, well, I'll say, your goal has to be financial stable. That way, you have to get your own place and be independent and get away from the trigger. Because if I am the trigger, I don't want my child to keep on suffering because I have moved on they haven't they are in in the process of healing so i try to i try to help my child to tell her that you know what it's better for you to really be financial stable and move on to your own place because once she's away from the trigger her healing will go faster so that's the stage we are in right now for her to be financial stable and so that she can move away from all the triggers and and get the healing that she deserves the healing that she needs yeah so guys so really i'm just trying to at this point uh i'm just helping my my children to uh to go on a healing journey to have a personal relationship with god because they are grown now uh so that's the the the, the route i'm taking and also i am trying also to build a our relationship on a, on a, on a strong foundation this time since uh my relationship with them was built on a shaky foundation a foundation that was full of fear insecurities and so forth and it all came crashing down so right now at this point i am not pushing anything but i am being a mother that they need i'm i'm just gonna be there for them and i'm believing in god and staying hopeful that one day when they are ready and in and in uh god's timing our relationship will just get better we have that loving strong uh relationship built on god's principles and god uh way so that's what i'm hoping for so my advice to you if you're a parent that is in the same situation like mine that uh, you are already healed but you already have grown kids that uh, sponged in all your painful past and now they are mirroring back all the pains that you were running from yet you're already healed but they are not healed they have to deal with this this pain that was uh, deposited in them if you're in that same situation I can only say, you know what, don't lose hope. Stay prayerful in God's timing 
it will all work out i'll just stay hopeful and don't push it just keep on praying for your relationship and keep on uh, pushing them pushing your children to become better than you to seek their healing earlier before they even get married themselves that's all you can do and if you are that parent that uh, is still not healed and you have kids intentionally seek your healing because you can do the right things right now but if you have those underlining issues like unresolved feelings unresolved pains insecurities uh things like that then really that's what's really is getting deposited in your children and they will definitely mirror it back when they are grown you won't see it now because right now you are in control so you won't see anything now you will start seeing the result of your pain when your kids are starting to mature now going into those teenage years that's when you will see that oh my goodness what's going on so i'll say intentionally seek your healing do what you need to do to get the help you need so that you will see the the the, the things that you want to see uh in your kids being mirrored back to you and if you haven't been married if you're not married yet no kids yet that's the best time just seek your healing right now if you went through any kind of pain in your life make sure you forgive you let go give it all to god commit all to god he is able he is able to heal you you it, it's it's he's no respect of persons he can heal you if he healed somebody like me he can heal you and just remember the journey is not like an overnight thing it takes some time but it's worth it at the end and you don't want to end up in a situation like mine anyway so if someone is telling you their story just try to avoid that direction and you go the easy path which is to listen to their story and say you know what mm -mm. let me go god's way immediately start now and then you know what your children will mirror the very thing that you want them to mirror back to you so this is it guys i hope this helps some parent out there and i pray that you know what you never walk the the same path i went through because it it has it's it has ne it's I, I can't even say the right words it's not been easy but god is faithful and he's able and i'm hopeful and i know there's light at the end of the tunnel so have a blessed week thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video thank you bye